y'all, I'm April McKinney, and today I'm starting out a series of holiday recipes. Since we're in November and we're getting close to Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be doing several holiday recipes, Thanksgiving recipes over the next few weeks, and then once we get into December and Christmas, I'll start doing some Christmas and even New Year's recipes. So I'm excited to show you this one today. I got a lot of requests for some um, holiday side dishes. So I'm gonna be making a roasted garlic mashed potato casserole, and it is so delicious, it's really easy, and I really love it because, you know, with mashed potatoes, when you make mashed potatoes, you kind of have to eat them pretty quickly after. It's sort of hard to make a mashed potatoes and then transport them and heat them up, and sometimes they dry out, and this is such a great way to take a dish. Most of us are going places, going for a meal somewhere. So you can make this casserole and then bake it at your family member's house wherever you're having Thanksgiving dinner. So what we're starting out with is some potatoes. I've already um, peeled and chopped up some Yukon Gold potatoes, about two to two and a half pounds of Yukon Golds. And I like to use these. I like the, the texture of them. I think they make a really delicious mashed potato. But if you wanted to use just regular Idaho baking potatoes, that's fine too. So what I'm gonna do is put this in my pot. Okay, so I've got these in here and now I'm just gonna fill this up with some water. I'm just gonna cover the tops of them. All right, so I've got this filled up with water. Now I'm just gonna turn my burner on high. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Sometimes just as a little tip, you can put the top on your pot and that way it'll come to a boil a little quicker if you're in a hurry. But I cut these pretty small. I like to cube them up so that I don't have to wait forever for them to boil. So this is really, once they start to boil, they can boil for about seven to eight minutes and I'll show you what the texture that I want when they get to that point, okay? Okay, so while the potatoes are boiling, I want to show you how easy it is to make this roasted garlic. It's really super simple. Don't be intimidated by it. If you did want to substitute just one clove of minced garlic, you could, but this really makes it special. And when it comes out of the oven, it's going to look like this when it comes out of the oven. It's just nice and golden and so rich and delicious. So we'll add it in there whenever we start adding all of our ingredients up. off of my potatoes. I'm going to show you the consistency of these. Pretty much whenever I, well I can't even hardly get one, whenever I put my fork into the potato it, it basically falls apart. I mean it just pretty much chops it when I just prick my fork in there. And you really want these to be really tender just like that. And so now I'm going to go ahead and get these drained real quick. Okay I've drained them and I'm putting them right back in the pot that I already had them in so it's hot. I'm going to put it on low heat Get my masher here, and what this is going to do is just evaporate all of that liquid that's in the potatoes. So just start mashing them up, just like this. Kind of fun to do. You can have your kids do this, and it's helping with Thanksgiving dinner. And now I'm just going to start adding in my ingredients. I've got a half cup of milk that's warm milk. You don't really want to put cold milk in here, so just pop it in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds or so. Three tablespoons of butter, so we're not going crazy on the butter. Got to get our roasted garlic in here that I told you about. Just squeeze it right in. You can see, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's going to be so good. The flavor is so good. And I'm not going to quite put all of it, maybe about half of it. And then half of my cheese. I've got a half cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to put half of it right in. All right. Now I'm just going to continue mashing and mixing getting everything well incorporated. Look how creamy that is already becoming, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're pretty well mixed up. The only other thing I'm gonna add is about three quarters teaspoon of salt, and you can do this to taste. If you've got two and a half pounds of potatoes, you may wanna put a whole teaspoon, but start with the three quarters teaspoon, taste it, and think, okay, it may need a little more salt or it may not. And then a half teaspoon of black pepper. I like to use the coarse black pepper. I just feel like you can taste it a lot better. And now I'm just going to stir this all up one more time. 
Y'all, it smells so good. That roasted garlic, mm, amazing. Parmesan cheese, I mean, this is gonna be everybody's new favorite dish at Thanksgiving. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get this mixture into my baking dish. All right, goes in. Make sure you get all of it. Okay. Set that aside, bring this over here, and just spread it out a little bit, evenly. Okay, first thing I wanna do for the topping is just melt a tablespoon of butter. Throw this in the microwave. Okay, so I've got my tablespoon of butter melted. Now I'm gonna add my remaining Parmesan cheese. And I'm also going to add some parsley that I just chopped up, about a tablespoon of parsley, and a couple bread, a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Just plain breadcrumbs are fine. About two tablespoons. Okay. So just mix this up with my little spoon. And it's funny because this topping is so easy; it takes no time at all. But it really does make a big difference in the final dish gonna get nice and crusty on top. Yum. Okay. All right, we're gonna sprinkle this right on top evenly. And I love the little pop of green and freshness that the parsley adds. It really makes a difference. You could also use maybe some chives or scallions, whatever you've got. Even if all you have is dried parsley, just a little green is very appetizing on any dish, especially mashed potatoes. Okay. This is ready to go in the oven. It's gonna go in at 350 for 20 minutes, and then we're done, that's it. Okay guys, I have just pulled this out of the oven. It smells so good, I can't even, I really wish you could smell it because it just smells amazing. This is certainly not your average mashed potatoes or your average mashed potato casserole. Um, this is just taking it to a whole nother level. So I think you guys are gonna love this, especially for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, a special dinner you've got where you're kind of having doubling up on Thanksgiving. You can make this anytime and you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna give it a try, it'll cool down a little bit. It's so creamy, look at that. I've got that nice little crust with the Parmesan cheese and the parsley and the butter. And it's just gonna be amazing. So happy holidays, you guys. I hope you'll give this one a try. Let me know what you think about it down below. And also, if you like this video and you wanna see more holiday recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my Facebook page, Cooking with April McKinney, and my website, AprilMcKinney.com, where you can find all my recipes. Got a ton of good stuff on there. Happy holidays.